Welcome to the White House. Uh, I am going to be brief because on a night like tonight, my job is to get out of the way and let the professionals do their job. The power of poetry is that everybody experiences it differently. There are no rules for what makes a great poem. Uh, understanding it isn't just about metaphor or meter. Uh, instead, a great poem is one that resonates with us, that challenges us, and that teaches us something about ourselves. There is at this hour a celebration of American poetry at the White House. The President and the First Lady welcomed accomplished poets, musicians, artists, and students to the White House today for a celebration of American poetry and prose, which, of course, has provoked a political firestorm. Karl Rove, among other Republicans, is objecting to the inclusion of one of the artists showcased. Let's see if you can guess which one. The group includes Elizabeth Alexander, Billy Collins, Rita Dove, Kenneth Goldsmith, Allison Knowles, Amy Mann, Jill Scott, Steve Martin, and Common. That's right, you guessed it, it's not Steve Martin. The right wing is outraged that Grammy-winning rapper Common has been invited to the White House for any purpose. Karl Rove has gone so far as to link Common's appearance at a White House poetry event with 9-11. President Obama last week said he wanted to recapture that special moment we had after 9-11. And here, a week later, we have an example of how this White House thinks it can, be rec it can recapture that moment by inviting a thug to the White House. About an hour ago, Common performed this piece at the White House. Destiny's children, survivors, soldiers in front of buildings. Their eyes look older. It's hard to see blessings in a violent culture. Face against weapons, sirens, holsters. That ain't the way that Langston Hughes wrote us. Soul controllers on the shoulders of Moses and Noah. We go from being precious to Oprah. Cultivated to overcome ever since we came over. Seize the day in a way that you can see that he determined. The solar keeps burning. Shorties know the keep learning lessons in our life are like stripes that we earning i took gramps advice that christ is returning like a thief in the night i write for beacons of light for those of us in dark alleys and parts valleys street hit spark rallies of the conscious conquerors of a contest that seems beyond us even through the unseen i know that god watches from one king's dream he was able to barack us one king's dream he was able to barack us one king's dream he was able to barack us. I have a dream. Joining me now is Melissa Harris Perry, an associate professor of politics and African American studies at Princeton and an MSNBC contributor. Thanks for joining us tonight, Melissa. Aren't you just frightened after that scary, scary poem? I did not see how that harmed the nation or the White House, but that apparently is not the thing that has uh, Republicans upset. They found somewhere in uh, Common's songbook, uh, one is it's exactly one song that they have some lyrics in it that they don't like. Isn't that it? Well, I, you know, I suspect that Common is really just standing in here for hip hop. In, in other words, it's it's not really Common. It's them sort of making a point about about hip hop culture, and and so calling him a thug is a way of of saying that basically all of hip hop culture is is thuggish. It's kind of outside of the respectable limits of of a president. Um, and and of course, what they're missing here uh, in that kind of critique is exactly that hip hop is like all poetry, like all art, and dare I. I say, like the Bible that Common evoked in that in that poem, it's complex. It's full of um, some positive images, some negative, some grotesque, but many that make us uncomfortable in precisely the ways that art forms should make us uncomfortable. Yeah, they they found they seized on particular lines uh, in this one piece where he says, uh, "Tell the law, my Uzi weighs a ton. I walk like a warrior. From them, I won't run." Uh, as, uh, which is not representative, as, as people who know Common's work, it's not representative of most of what he does. Uh, and in fact, the White House had to respond today specifically to those lyrics that the Republicans isolated. Let's listen to what Jay Carney had to say. I would say uh, that while the president doesn't uh, support the kind of lyrics that have been 
raised here, he does, uh, I mean, we do think that the, uh, some of these reports distort what Mr. Lynn stands for uh, more broadly in order to stoke a controversy. One of the things that the uh, president appreciates is uh, the work that uh, Mr. Lynn has done with uh, children, especially in, in Chicago, trying to get them to focus on poetry as opposed to uh, some of the uh, uh, negative influences of uh, life on the streets. Common's legal name, which I learned today, Lonnie Rashid Lynn Jr., uh, is who Jay Carney was talking about. Uh, uh, Melissa, how, did, did you ever expect you'd see a White House press secretary having to respond to <laughs> individual lines in a, in a Common song? Well, you know, in that way, I suppose it's actually sort of great. Uh, I'm not that surprised given that, you know, a very common sort of youth cultural moment like the fist bump that the president and the first lady gave one another during the campaign got called in, in, into question as a terrorist activity and had to be sort of described and, and explained and critiqued for the American public. So in that sense, I, I guess I'm not surprised. But, you know, what I'll say is, that line, that Uzi line, that notion of being armed against a government that is that you consider to be illegitimate, I mean, that could be the theme song for the Tea Party, right? The question, I think, in part here is why is it okay for one group to have a, a critique of the federal government and to have that critique and say that their response is to be armed as individuals, but when it's a young African-American man making a similar critique, it's somehow beyond um, an acceptable limit of what, the, of what the president should put up with. You know, I, it, it does feel to me like there's a question here about, again, who has the legitimacy to actually offer a critique of their own government. I'm going to give Common the last word reading what he put on his Facebook today. Politics is politics and everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I respect that. The one thing that shouldn't be questioned is my support for the police officers and troops that protect us every day. Peace, y'all. Uh, peace, Melissa. Thank you very much for joining us tonight. Peace, Lawrence.